Oh my God, is it me who's back? Yes, it is. And today I am bringing you guys a wash and go with mousse and gel. Now, if you see my playlist, you already know I've been doing multiple wash and goes, but today I decided to mix it. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my leave-in conditioner in. Yes, I've already washed my hair. So I'm just working my leave-in conditioner in. Um, it's been a while, and if you could tell, your girl cut her hair um, again. Got tired of it, decided to cut it again. So here we are, starting from the beginning. Whoops, uh, let's just go ahead and wipe that off. Um, washing your hair could get a little messy. So a little bit got on the camera, but it's okay, we wipe it off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to rub this leave-in conditioner by Mayel in my hair. I honestly love this leave-in conditioner. It is one of a, it's one of a staple. Oh, um, Renato came in and distracted my whole vibe. But on to the regular schedule program. So I love this conditioner. Um, it's one of the staples in my hair care products. I'm not a product junkie. Um, so I definitely have like my main products that I use. And Mayel is one of them. Um, her leave-in conditioner, not really anything else. Um, so yes, I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair in fours like I always do. It makes it easier to maneuver and get the hair done. As you can see, although I just cut my hair, I don't know. I got a lot of dead hair because I just got my, I just, I don't know. It's a lot going on. Um, my hair is definitely thinning out since becoming a mother of three. They're like taking all my hair, you guys. Um, Renato begged me to get out of his way. And as you can see, he continues to come in the bathroom while doing my hair. Like, I just don't get it. You told me to go away. I went away. Now you're in my space. While I'm recording, by the way. But who cares? Um, so first, I always hand detangle my hair. Um, and then I go ahead and comb my hair. I could not find my wide tooth comb, so you can imagine that that comb hurt. Um, I was trying to get a good product shot for you guys, um, but I didn't realize in that moment that my mousse top was broken. Um, but I fixed it, as you can see. And now I'm applying the mousse first. Look at that sway. Oh yeah, I got hang time, y'all. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put the eco gel on there um, at the top layer, and then work that in there as well. Um, like I said, this is my first time doing this. So what the outcome is going to be, I have no idea. I decided to try it with you guys. Um, I do love doing wash and goes now though. Um, when Once I figured out the method, I love it. Uh, my method right now that works for my hair is just mousse and nothing else. The ducks, the dokes, I'm not sure how you say that. But that mousse is amazing with my wash and goes. And now I honestly love wash and goes, but I decided to try something new, like I said. Um, I hate this comb, don't use this comb, get a wide tooth comb. Anyways, so now that I'm working the leave-in conditioner in my hair, um, I make sure I work it in section by section also. I don't just put it on top like you saw me in the beginning. I do it layer by layer as well to make sure I'm hitting all those spots. Leave-in conditioner helps with moisturization. Anyway, so now I'm reapplying that mousse. Um, I love the curls. Um, if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you saw my little snippet of this video. Um, and you could honestly see a very good close-up of my curls. But I think I'll honestly give a close-up here too. So, just stick around and see. But yeah, I should have re my hair in the middle. My hair in the middle dries out really fast. Um, so the middle of my hair is going to be puffy. But the steps are leave-in conditioner, mousse, gel and repeat now if this is your first time doing a wash and go you will realize that it's not as fast as it seems you just don't wash your hair and continue moving on uh, a wash and go actually takes some time um, until you find your method that you can honestly fly through it and it doesn't take much time um, lately as me being a mother of three I have to find time to do self-care and doing my hair is part of my self-care routine so I have to find methods to help me move faster because my self-care happens during that time i'm a very busy person got too many kids so and i'm gonna fit myself in it has to be quick and easy and i gotta get it done so while i'm doing this wash and go it's actually during my son's nap time look at this knot y'all look at this knot where did it come from who knows but it's there when you hit a knot like this you shingle it shingling is when you do hair by strand until you isolate the knot it is so important not to just yank your hair out and since your girl is thinning her hair um 
I would thought that like postpartum hair loss, whatever that is called, would be over by now. Um, but it is not. And this is, I feel like, the worst case I've had it. I don't know if it's because I breastfed so long. Um, still kind of am still to this day. Um, so maybe that's why my postpartum hair is just like continuously to get thin. Who knows? But I am on this journey to just make sure my hair is healthy. That's honestly my journey right now. Healthy hair, everything else, I do not care. I think that's what's going to be, you know, my saying for the rest of the year. But who knows? Anyways, so yeah, don't use this comb. <laughs> like I've been saying, don't do that. Um, but favorite mousse of all time is this. If you guys would like to know, like, what are my favorite all time hair care products right now um, that I feel is helping my hair with this hormonal problem just let me know in the comments and i'll let you know but other than that the hair is hearing okay the curls are popping i'm about to give you guys a real good close-up right now tell me it just do not look fabulous like it looks fabulous mixing the mousse and the gel so far i'm liking it um as you can see my sweater i have product everywhere like why am i so messy with this stuff it, it's just so messy like if i was to show you guys my floor you'll be like what did i do dance in the product i did not dance in the product it's just it's just happening right now um so i have product everywhere i'm over my hair at this point but we're on the last section so i'm gonna push through my son has not woken up yet so we're making good time and that's how i keep time this is how i fit myself in like fitting self-care in is my goal so here is the close-up shot slow-mo slow turn and voila like i don't went ahead and sat under the dryer for a good long time but as you can see it is not completely dry i still have spots that are still wet it is what it is 4c hair is something else but i am happy with the results i love it and now it's just gonna air dry for the rest thank you for watching subscribe bye y'all